Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everyone else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from the Thomas and Friends series and it's Bill and Ben. Bill and Ben worked at the quarry. The twin engines loved excitement and they found the quarry boring. One morning they were busy moving trucks. Listen Bill, said Ben, can you hear something? What sort of something? asked Bill. Well, I can't hear anything different, said Bill. Exactly, huffed Ben. Everything is the same, sounds the same, looks the same. What we need is a surprise, said Bill. What sort of surprise, asked Ben. But before Bill could answer, the quarry master arrived. I have just received a message from the fat controller, he said. He wants you to go and see him at the harbour. I wonder what we've done wrong this time, said Bill to Ben anxiously. At the harbour, the fat controller was waiting for them. Edward is taking the children on a special trip today, he said, so I want you to go to the harbour station and look after his trucks. We do our best, sir, said the twins, and they wished away, relieved that they done, hadn't done anything wrong after all. When Bill and Ben arrived at the station, Gordon spoke to them severely. You must behave here, he said. You're on the main line now, not at the quarry. Actually, Gordon, giggled Ben, when we saw you, we thought we were in the scrapyard. Gordon was so cross, he couldn't think what to say. Just make sure that my coaches are ready for my evening train, he spluttered as he fumed away. The twins set to work. This'll be easy, they said to each other. We know all about trucks. But they weren't used to the harbour trucks, and the trucks knew it. We'll show you around, the truck said to Bill and Ben. We want to help. Bill and Ben should have known better than to believe them. The trucks told Bill and Ben to put things in all the wrong places. Soon the yard was in a dreadful muddle. When Gordon saw what had happened, he was furious. You've blocked me in, he said to Bill and Ben. Now my evening train will be late. The troublesome trucks giggled and giggled. When the fat controller found out what had happened, he spoke severely to Bill and Ben. I thought I could trust you with work with, to work with trucks, he said. But I was wrong. Now go and sort out this mess. Gordon waited impatiently while Bill and Ben put everything back in its proper place. By the time Gordon was able to leave, it was very late indeed. His passengers were furious. Bill and Ben were sent back to the quarry in disgrace. As they began to work the next day, Ben sighed loudly. Back to the boring old quarry, he said. Still no sign of a surprise. Just then, there was a loud rumbling. That's a strange noise, gasped Bill. I've never heard a noise like that before. I have, whispered his driver nervously. It sounds like a rock slide to me. Then the alarm came. Danger! Clear the quarry! shouted the quarry master. The workmen scrambled into Bill and Ben's trucks and the twins pulled them away. Rocks were just beginning to tumble down into the quarry. Thank goodness we're here, said the twins. Otherwise all these people would have been hurt. They were just puffing out of the quarry when they heard a cry. A workman had been left behind. Help! Wait for me! he cried. Ben waited as man scrambled over the fallen rocks to reach the train. He clambered on board and the twins pulled away out of the quarry. Just in time, with a huge crash, hundreds of rocks poured down the sides of the quarry. Everyone was safely out of the way, but there was rubble everywhere. At that moment, Edward arrived with a fat controller. Oh dear, said Bill, this wasn't our fault. I hope the fat controller won't be cross with us again. But he wasn't. Bill and Ben, the fat controller said, you may have a lot to learn about trucks, but you behaved quickly and bravely in an emergency. So three cheers for Bill and Ben, our heroes. Hip hip hooray, cried Edward and all the workmen. Oh, thank you, sir, said Bill. Being called heroes, well, it's, it's, it's a really nice surprise, laughed Ben. The end. Bye bye, Mila. Bye bye, Jack. Goodbye everyone who's watching. Bye.